Hey, I'm Grant Faulkner. I am going to read from my new collection of 100 word stories, a uh, collection of 100 of them called Fissures. Um, and just a little background, I started this um, little literary magazine called 100 Word Story about four or five years ago and became obsessed with writing these. Um, and they're, they're kind of like narrative haikus. I like them because they have these like hard borders. You, can all, you have to be, write precisely 100 words, which brings out a different type of creativity. So, so here goes. Um, they're all vaguely or directly based on the theme of love. Uh, this first one's called The Toad. The Toad. Flattened by a car, its arms spread out a little like Jesus. The sun had baked it as crisp as a potato chip. Poor Toad, Maria said, didn't know how to cross the road. Maybe he thought the car was a new friend, I said, rushing to greet him. Or he was puzzling how such a small thing in the distance could become so large. We spent hours in such conversations. It was nice how we never talked about what was next, who we were together. As if the toad wasn't part of every story in its way, even ours. So this next story is kind of maybe what happens after the toad. Not the same characters, but could be. Uh, it's called Dear X. Dear X, I loved you more than anyone could. Love why? Dearest why? Funny, I didn't realize that. How are you? Best X. Dear X, I cut my guts open for you. I'm bleeding. Love Y. Dearest Y, sorry to hear about the mishap. I hear there are remedies for bleeding, or it stops after a while. Cheers, X. Dear X, the bleeding won't stop. I'm split open. Love Y. Hey Y, can you believe this weather? Yours, X. Dear X, why are you talking about the weather? Love Y. Dear Y, I found, finally found the perfect beach. Hugs and kisses. X. Uh, this next one I have never read before, at least out loud. Uh, it's called Other Countries. Other Countries. Randall told Abigail she looked French. Her dark eyes, the way she held a cigarette, the slender fit of her hips in a skirt. It's silly to say, but you have a certain je ne sais quoi. Later she'd think it was just a line. If you tell a woman she looks French, she'll remember you forever. He was so American that way, playing with all of the world's cultures, making them into a sales pitch. You look like you're from Oklahoma, she told him. But no, he was really just a little boy wearing his father's cowboy boots, tripping. Now I've got one more. This one's called uh, Fool's Gold. Fool's Gold. I used to be able to walk into a bar and fall hopelessly in love with a woman. Any night, it didn't matter, there was always a woman. I would sit at the bar, watch her talk to friends, dance, and I'd love her until closing time. Then I'd walk home on the lonely dark streets, remembering past glances, mysterious eyes that held worlds, and I might cry, drunk, thinking of the road trips we didn't take, our children, a dog. That was Chicago, 1989. It wasn't so bad to be a fool. Wise now, I stay home most nights. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for listening, I appreciate it.